So Mariana <laughs> has very kindly allowed me to do her makeup today, which I'm sure she's going to regret later. <laughs> no. And I think what I'd really like to do mm. on you is to kind of recreate a sort of daytime Perfect. glam with a little mm -hmm. twist, of like making it pop a little bit. So I know you've already done your skin, mm -hmm. which is a big help for me. Yeah. <laughs> and now we can just get into the color, like the color, which mm -hmm. is the fun stuff. So I think what I'm going to do with this is take a little flat brush and this that you can use, I mean you can really use it as heavy or as sparingly as you like, but I think it's what's nice about it is you can really build, but I'm, mm -hmm. I just want to do a really, really light and then I want to add the, the eyeshadow on top, so okay. So I normally start like kind of on the outside of the eye, because mm -hmm. that's where like the most... Um, of the eyeshadow will kind of, well that'll be when it's the heaviest on the mm -hmm. brush and I like it, and I always like to do like a feline-y kind of eye. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> okay, and so I'm just gonna build on it, I think, okay. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of all over the eye mm -hmm. now, and now I'm just gonna build it up like right at the lash line. I mean, <laughs> call me at <laughs> Rosie Makeup, I'm telling you. <laughs> Your Instagram handle. <laughs> It looks so nice on mm -hmm. you. I love this eyeshadow. I love wearing it. Okay, so basically all I've done is started at the at the lash root mm -hmm. and then kind of blended the the eyeshadow up from there and sort of taken it up into the socket. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it there for now. It's okay. really light. This is a daytime look. I don't want to go mm -hmm. crazy. We can always build upon it. I'm going to test this out on my hand, but um, in the past when I have wet my brush before doing this... Um, the eyeshadow and it just it makes the pigment just bounce even more which is super cool it's like so versatile this product so I'm just gonna dab it in the center of the eye just a little bit of... open your eyes oh so nice so I'm gonna use it just dry all over the eye and then I think what I might do is just wet it just for the center of the eye to kind of okay. at the end You've got great eyes for makeup because you've got such a like what like oh thanks like long beautiful eye I have the bone structure okay look down <laughs> so into this all right so every makeup artist I work with just always goes on about the importance of blending mm hmm yeah sometimes I feel like when they're doing my eye makeup it's like blending forever yeah. But that's what's going to get rid of any kind of hard edges. And then you like to bring it underneath a little bit. Yeah, you can put a little bit under the Okay, lash so line. I'm going to take this little brush here and go underneath. That looks great. I mean, just tooting my own horn. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Have a look. Tell me what you think. Do you want me to I, look now or do you want me to look yeah, at the no, eye? Yeah, no, I want you okay. to look at the eye and then I think you should perhaps do your mascara. Oh, it looks so pretty. It looks so good. <gasps> okay, so I'm going to do my little <laughs> trick. Okay. Can I take this Q-tip yep. and then can you give me And like hand? rub it all off. <laughs> <laughs> so what I like to do is just on the corner, so I usually just stick it like, like this mm -hmm. just so it doesn't get everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then to clean up just the edges here mm -hmm. and just to really like elongate the mm -hmm. eyes, I just take this and I clean up like this so it makes like a so I'll take my beauty blender yeah. and have a little bit of foundation yeah. or something left over and then I'll just tap on the corners and that kind of blends it together so it's not so harsh yeah but then it just cleans it up and then like lifts yeah. the eye that made a big difference and that really Brilliant. did lift your eyes yeah I love when I do that so that's I could, should put mascara on now I think so. Okay. I don't want to put liner on you because I think okay. it will feel too heavy. <laughs> not daytime. Yeah, yeah, and not daytime. And I like the way it, it so looks I'm right now. We can always add it. So I'm going to use um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Have you tried this before? No, but is <gasps> it really better than sex? It's so good. Okay. This is my... That's a big statement. Okay, I'm going to show you... Depends who you're having sex with, <laughs> perhaps. I'm going to show you what it looks like on one eye. And it's really, like, it's a thickening and lengthening mascara. And if you even see, like, this isn't really that. I did, like, yeah. a coat. Yeah. And it's so pretty because some mascaras, I feel like they make my lashes too thin and it's just yeah. long mm -hmm. or it's too clumpy. So I love this formula. And it doesn't dry too fast. I just, like, love how this mascara yeah. looks. Yeah, it does look great. Okay, so I'm going to use my contour stick from Rosie Photograph. This is 
like such a great stick. It's so easy to use and the color, I, I mean, I think it works really mm. well for all skin tones. So what I'm gonna do is take a brush like this mm -hmm. and don't be scared, but I'm okay. basically going to draw a line mm -hmm. just underneath your cheekbone, down onto your jaw, maybe this side. And then I just add like a tiny bit mm -hmm. here. If I don't do any um, eye, then I'll put it in, even into my yeah. eye socket. So then I'm gonna take this brush basically and I'm just going to, can I tiny in mm -hmm. one more like that? I'm just gonna blend it right in. Look at me. I mean, I think it's just enhanced like so slightly. Mm -hmm. And then I like to just bring whatever's left on the brush like down the neck. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, you want to always bring a little bit of, of the color that you've put on your face down into your neck. After you've done the contour, I'm now going to add a little bit of bronze. Mm -hmm. This is such a, again, like a great color and really easy to use. So this I'm really going to not be as precious, let's say, mm -hmm. as I was with the um, contour and I'm just really going to use this as a bronzer and so bringing it kind of onto the top of the cheeks mm -hmm. here even like across the nose all right so that's the bronzer done mm -hmm. now I'm gonna play around a little bit with these highlighters from NARS I'm gonna go in with this like rose gold where do you like to wear a highlighter I like to wear it just here mm -hmm. on the top of my cheekbones. I like to wear it in the socket of my eye. Mm -hmm. I like to wear it here in the um, in a corner of my eye, down the center of my nose. I like to wear it all over. <laughs> my entire yeah. face. <laughs> I'm gonna take this little tiny brush. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite tips. I feel like it really like a highlighter in here. It makes the eyes look so much more awake. This looks really good just here. Oh, Mariani is so yeah. beautiful, I can't take it. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're done with the highlighter. I wanna use a little bit of blush. This one we spoke about earlier from mm -hmm. Shantikai, it's a sheer highlighting fluid. And you know, you, you can do a lot with this, but I wear it as a blusher. And I'm just gonna like pop this right here in the, on the apples of your cheek. Um, I think I'm going to line your lips. So one of my favorites is this one from Burberry. Mm -hmm. And it works really nicely with this lipstick. Very pretty. So I don't know about you, but I, when I apply my lip liner, I, I usually just apply it on the top lip in the daytime. Mm. Lip liner is a personal thing though. So mm -hmm. you look may... At and then we should just leave the bottom without liner. No, let me do it. I want to do okay. it. <laughs> it's personal, right? So I'm just staying like right on the uh, mm -hmm. like line of the lip. This color looks great on you, obviously. <laughs> One nice thing to do, I think, is always to just apply or concentrate on applying a bit more in the center of the lip, mm -hmm. and just smush it for me. You is tell this me, done, you're done? either gonna like you're either uh -huh. gonna like the lip color, or we can. It looks so good. You did such a good Can job. You see in the mm -hmm. mirror. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mariana. It looks so pretty. I made you beautiful. Yeah, you really did. It looks so good. <laughs>